Howdy friends, Guthrie Trap here again in East Nashville, Tennessee, saying howdy to you. Uh, just wanted to say thanks to everybody that's been giving me so much positive feedback. I've been really enjoying doing these videos and embracing YouTube, and uh, it's been really cool for me. I mean, I'm just, I'm just happy to do it, and, and I'm glad to see that people are actually getting something out of it. Uh, I kind of, you know, from playing guitar for so many years and doing so many gigs, um, I'm kind of trying to break this stuff down in ways that I, that I see it every day, which is um, um, super simple to me because... I'm not coming from a real theory background. I'm just looking at, at what works and trying to use my ear and play something soulful and, and meaningful on the guitar. So that leads me to this lesson, uh, which I think is going to be really good uh, considering the feedback that I've been getting you know, based on that and the lessons that I've done talking about chord shapes. I think this is going to be pretty cool. So I'll dig right in. And um, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use some of these little, uh, I call them just harmonies, you know, where I'm using, um, I'm going to take like the, the C chord, but I'm just going to focus on the B string, the G string, and the D string, just this triad, right? I'm just going to focus on that triad, and the, the, the background to this is, is going to be what I'm going to show you now, and, and the foundation of this whole exercise that we're going to do, and the, these concepts that I'm about to show you, um, it all comes from, from obviously, I mean, you're going to hear me say this thousands of times, it's coming from the chord shapes, believe it or not, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to take this C shape on these three strings, B, G, and D, just that triad, and I'm going to play the 1, 4, 5, which means the, the, the C, F, and G, just your basic three chord country or whatever kind of, you know, basic three chord turn, uh, chord progression. And I'm going to do it in each position up the neck. I'm going to do the C position. Then I'm going to go to F. Then I'm going to go to G. And then I'm going to go to my C again. So, so far we've played C, F, G. And then we're back to C now. That triad out of your A shape. C chord. So C, F, G, back to C. And then right there we're going to start all over again. We're going to go C. Now we're going to play the, the, the C position F shape, just but still on that triad, the B, G, and D string. So here's C, F, G. Now we're going to go back to C again, but we're going to be playing based out of our E-shaped uh, C bar chord, but we're just going to still be playing the triad, those three notes, my one, three, and five on the B, G, and D string. Then we're going to start here, and we're going to play F here, out of the uh, A position F bar chord on your 10th fret, and then 12th fret G, and then C again. Going all the way up. And then if you ran out, you're running out of frets at that point, and everything starts over at the 12th fret anyway, obviously. So you've got that part. So all together, uh, this would sound like this. simplify this more and we're just going to based on that exercise we're going to just focus on the two notes just the 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 uh, b string and the d string and and this is how the the chord foundations are so important to me this is a perfect example because i'm going to show you some really cool stuff you can do with just these two notes if you stick to these shapes and really learn them well and you can see them really well that's the whole thing is it's when I talk about playing out of the chords I don't mean holding down a big giant bar chord because then you're you don't have any fingers left to play anything you know around there so it's more about seeing the keynotes in the chord than it is playing these giant bar chords so it's all about visualizing and then eventually getting away from that once you have that foundation and then making music and hearing what you're doing and really playing soulfully and that kind of thing right so 
With that being said, this is kind of this is the kind of stuff you can do with what I'm about to show you. So this is an example. So starting on C. playing you know two notes um, but, but what you're also doing is th there's also a way to play the scale with this shape so this is what we're going to do now we're going to play the scale and we're just going to basically we're going to play on the B string and, on the, and then on the D string so it's going to be harmonized so we're going to start here with your C shape together on the 3rd fret and then together on the 5th fret that's your visualizing this shape this chord but just those two notes out of it so and then my F shape but just those two notes so we've got now G F shape here Climbing up to G and then ultimately to C. So going down. One more time going up. notes uh, out of it just using those two notes so uh, when I'm when I'm playing out of the C chord uh, and I climb up I'm just going from one interval to the next that's still all C but as soon as I go well that becomes F and then if I want to play over G G7, so there's G7, so what happens is when you end up here, at this, if you take this up, one, two, three, four, uh, you're going up from the fret you're on, the 12th fret, you're going up, if you count that as one, you're going one, two, three, four frets up from the 12th, uh, 13, 14, to the 15th fret, in that shape, that's out of your, guess what, your G7 bar chord. It's just those two notes of this shape or this shape, your 7. So, so what you end up is with this. And then you can either resolve to your C, which is right behind there, or to your C, which is... So if you go in G, uh, you could go C first. You can add that in if you want. And then watch, you can, you can resolve here too. Right on in there. Because there's your C bar chord and there's your shape. Alright, so... So here's another thing you can do. Once you get up here, when you go to F, you can also do this. Um, since this is your major third, right here, your, your A note is your major third of your F chord. Well, if I, if I have these two notes, then I just flatten that 
one on the D string, go back a half a fret, a half step, that makes it F minor. Because here's your F, here's your F minor shape. So with those two notes, so it can make for a cool, um, sorry I'm a little warm in here. Uh, it's it's when you when you it can make for a cool walk down. Now watch going down to, to uh, G seven your five chord. So now watch. So this shape, that shape right there becomes G seven. It's right out directly out of that G7 chord. I'm just playing the B and the D string and resolving. But like I said, there's some cool melodies, and we'll keep going. Now you can jump up and do stuff like this. And the whole time I'm just trying to keep um, some musicality in my mind, some melody. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to hear where notes are maybe leading to the next. You don't ever really want to jump from here to here to here to here. It, you kind of want to bring the ear into the next thing gradually. Um, so I'm always trying to hear the cool harmony notes and melodies and things that I'm that I'm I'm trying to accomplish just to try to be soulful or or you know somewhat beautiful or pretty on on this kind of stuff. So um, the more you the play that you play around with it, you're gonna really get it. I mean, is this a a simple but really effective fun thing to mess around with because instead of just sitting there and going you know you've got
since we've been talking about the flat seven leading to the major third. Now watch. Your F is lined up right there. So you can do little flat seven tricks like that. So when I'm on my four chord, which is F. see what you come up with that there's some cool things that you can do with just those those um, those harmonies and then the, once again you know don't forget it's just the scale too going up folks and see what you can come up with. I think it's a pretty cool thing to add to your toolbox. Um, you know, it gets you away from the single note stuff, really can fatten up and beautify your, your playing, if, if, if you will. So, man, thank you so much. I uh, really appreciate all the feedback, like I said, and, uh, and uh, man, it's great to connect with so many people uh, around the, the world. This has to be one of the best uses of the internet uh, out there, friends. So, thank you so much. Please subscribe if you want, and uh, follow up my other stuff, Instagram and stuff like that. There's always a uh, gig photos and travel photos and stuff like that. So thanks again, friends. Talk to you real soon. Take care.